time for Polly Polly Poo Poo's. He's got a box in the post. Opening and having a look at it. And as you can see, it's prior, prior, oh, and basically it's survived the drop test, so uh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, but it's here in one piece, I assume. And uh, I'd like to sort of say thank you, Star Wars fan Tommy, uh, for sending this to me. So this has come all the way from Belgium. So I'm hoping when I open it up, it's going to smell like uh, a schmuck and a punk. So. He's wrapped it up really nice as well, so it almost feels like Christmas. And uh, that, is that got possibly someone's details on there, so I'll try and avoid that on camera. If I can. If I cannot, well, I'll just have to do some editing. -din -din. Right, luckily we have a... Oh, hold on. Hold on. What's this? Oh man, I didn't expect this to be in the packet. <laughs> I thought this was going to be loose. Uh, wow, look at that, an undead Geonosian. Um, so does that mean he's like, he's an alive Geonosian? Is that right? If you're undead, you're alive? Mm -hmm. No. Zombies are undead. Zombies are undead. Ah, right, I'm with you now. I just thought if you were undead, you weren't dead. But well, yeah, you're not dead. Right, so deadish. Dead. That's fantastic. Look, look at that. That is absolutely, I mean... This is phenomenal. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you for that, uh, Tommy. <laughs> I'll just call you Tommy rather than Star Wars. My Tommy. Um, and here's me lovely bag of vintage, vintage Star Wars figures. And uh, I'm absolutely loving getting Gamorrean guards. Like, because so far, I, I don't know, I've got seven now, I think. So this will bring up me total to... More than seven, <laughs> ten possibly. So I'm getting into double figures with the Gamorrean guards. And uh, people out there, I know people have asked me to show off my entire Star Wars collection. And if you will bear with me, uh, as I am currently processing the loft, and what that will enable me to do will be to sort of lay all my stuff out, get it all out in one go, all out, uh, and then I can basically get it set up perfect how I want it to be able to film it without kind of having to. Stop, it's time to go to bed, and everything has to be tidied away, and all that type of stuff. So there's the Gamorrean guards, and then a bit more army building here. We have the Hoth soldier. We also have the Endor soldier, or Commando, or whatever you want to call him, Rambo. And, oh, nice. I've, he's even given us some vintage Gamorrean guard axes, which... That's great because I don't actually have any of these. Uh, so I'm really chuffed to get them. So then I'll be fighting over who gets them. And finally, I did see Tommy's video where he did showing off his Clone Wars collection. selection, And i seen these and I kind of commented on them just to sort of say that. I didn't even know they existed but they looked absolutely amazing. Not knowing, like, sort of within a week I'd actually have them in my possession. And that is the uh, Clone Wars animated Jawas. Um, Jawas are kind of fastly becoming one of my favourite kind of little characters um, behind kind of bum face. And they just look absolutely amazing. Uh, look at that. Chuffed. Chuffed to bits, Tommy. So your, your box, it's gone. It's away. It's been gone for a couple of days. Uh, I did send it by snail mail, so I'm hoping it won't take too long. Uh, we'll have to put this kind of... I'm gonna eat your brains! In the background, and he's just killed everybody anyway. So they're now all undeaded. Un oh, I'd love to say an undead Gamorrean guard. How cool would that be? <laughs> <laughs> the undead Gamorrean guard. Barely looks alive as it is. Anyway, so thank you once again, Star Wars fan Tommy. Uh, the obligatory you might say stuff down there with his name to click and go and uh, watch his videos he is from Belgium like I say uh, and his English is fun in fact his English is ten times better than my Belgiumish Belgiumish is that a word? I don't think so anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll catch us all later on